Did you know that up to 20% of all the people will suffer from stroke before the age of 50? What this fact makes even more scary is that 40% of all these cases will don't get a true identified cause despite huge diagnostic evaluation. It's almost half, isn't it? When we speak about this age group, we have to consider that these are working-aged adults with the growing families at the same time. I also belong there. So these people don't deal only with physical disability after stroke. They deal with the major psychosocial consequences, such as anxiety, depression, not willing to return to work, all the things that impact not only their lives, then also the life of their families and the whole society, actually. When we think about why somebody experienced stroke, you probably immediately think about high blood pressure, diabetes, alcohol, cigarettes. These risk factors are called traditional and also modifiable, as we can influence them by taking medications or changing our lifestyle. We have to know when they are present together, like two or three together, they lead to even a higher stroke risk. But did you know that many of these risk factors are actually not always present at young and middle-aged adults? On the other hand, there is a solid evidence suggesting that the presence of a certain genetic condition that leads to increased tendency of blood to clot may also represent a significant risk factor for stroke. That is called genetic thrombophilia and we cannot influence if we carry some of these mutations. So, the aim of my dissertation is to examine the presence of these modifiable and unmodifiable risk factors in young population of Bosnia and Herzegovina to examine their possible interactions and their association to the stroke occurrence, certain type of stroke, stroke complications and stroke outcome. We believe that our results will contribute to a better knowledge of mechanism of stroke in young and developing new preventive and therapeutic strategies. Thank you.